Uh, yes, hi. Um, as usual, again, me, I'm Ed Kachian. I'm trying to uh, do another lecture today for you guys. Today we'll discuss about uh, dynamic thinking, more about concrete thinking. Sometimes in a chess game, um, we have to use more our imagination and concrete thinking to apply our knowledge uh, for, um, for positions. So the first game I wanted to do this to you guys, uh, it's um, from 2003, I played versus Cratchit of Alexander. Uh, it was here in Los Angeles, we played Robert Round tournaments. It was a really important game to me, I uh, played with black pieces. And to why it's important, I needed only win in order to uh, get my uh, first uh, Grandmaster norm. So I was black. It's a little bit unusual way to play King's Indian defense. Uh, by the way, uh, I'd like to mention this, it's important. For me, um, every time when I need to play uh, for win only as a black, uh, wearing uh, close openings, uh, such as um, d4 in the first move or c4, I prefer to stay, uh, to stick with uh, King's Indian defense, uh, since that defense, that opening, uh, it's going to be to create uh, much more complications, much more uh, interesting lines involved, um, and I have more chance to play for win than by simply playing something like Queen's Come Decline or uh, Slav Defense. Well, this is the first moment. Um, I chose uh, not exactly the uh, main line of playing kitchen in defense, but here I figure out if I play a six, um, then it will lead me basically to transposition to a uh, binary type of position after, let's say, um, h3, ed, cd. Um, I still believe this is kind of it's the absolute playable position for both sides, uh, and uh, actually both sides has a, you know has a good games to play, but I'm not really, really like Benoni type player, and that's why I decided to play e5 because e5 it's kind of more um, in defense type position. I'm trying to in future play typical attack and kitchen in defense, and um, you know be. <laughs> Trying to seek more complications here. So e3, um, white simply wants to go um, with playing on the queen side because they have a targets at c5 and d6 pawn chain. Uh, trying to simply uh, attack on the queen side, open the b file, and uh, most important to be able to push forward c and d pawn. <laughs> We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.